This your boy DJ Q Waves back again with another new video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that red subscribe button and notification bell. If you're an old subscriber, welcome back to the channel. No. So looks like Snoop Dogg has acquired Death Row Records from the Blackstone Control Company, M E R K Music Group. According to Business Wire, Snoop Dogg will be leading the brand for the coming years as its new owner. Snoop Dogg originally joined Death Row back in 1993 when he dropped his critically acclaimed classic debut album, Doggy Style. Now, Snoop will also be releasing his upcoming album, B-O-D-R, under the label on February 11th, back on Death Row. Man. Dog. Snoop Dogg. Just, just, it's exciting just to have acquired such a significant brand to the culture like Death Row. And, you know, he said back on a podcast at the Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast, he said he's going to get Death Row. And Snoop Dogg wasn't playing. So this all is just a strategic plan that he had back all set up. He's performing at the Super Bowl halftime and he's dropping an album this weekend. And Death Row is back. Death Row was one of the best record labels back in the day. The house, the names are Dr. Dre, Tupac Shakur, Dog Pound, Warren G, Nate Dog. Man, the list goes on and on. Poo. Hey. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this birth of Death Row. The, back on Death Row. The, the rebirth of Death Row. Death Row is back. Death Row is not gone. It's back alive, people. It's back alive. Hey, y'all let me know what kind of, what y'all, y'all, y'all see Snoop Dogg's vision for the new Death Row. Do y'all think, you know, he's going to bring the original Death Row chains back? Y'all let me know what artists y'all think should be on sign to Death Row. Y'all let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you want more videos like this, be sure that DJ QA plays this button video. And make sure that like button, subscribe button, and the notification bell. Peace.